on the playground, on a driveway, or in an isolated gymnasium. Days, months, and years of practice with only one dream in mind, winning a championship. Today, in an arena in East Lansing, all of that hard work culminates with one shot at a trophy. A trophy that says you're the champion. For nine years, Michigan State's Breslin Center has been the desired destination of high school boys hoopsters throughout the state. With three champions already crowned, a fourth and final title holder must be determined. Tonight, the B-Class showcases its top two teams, the Yellow Jackets of Avondale against Grand Rapids South Christian Sailors, and it's only here on Fox Sports Now. Hi, everybody. Alongside my partner, Greg Kelser, my name is Matt Shepard. South Christian can beat you in a number of ways, inside, outside, in transition. But the guy who keys it all is Derek Van Stolkema. This guy's tough, isn't he? Yet another player, Matt, who has gone over his season's average to get make things happen at championship time. And 16 points a game on the season for Van Sokoma. You see what he did yesterday in an overtime win where he had 26 points, including seven in the overtime period. Now, the things that he can do to help him to his team, how about passing the basketball? Very good in transition there, setting up his teammate Walters here, taking the charge, playing solid defense. He can certainly put the ball on the floor, penetrate down the lane and finish. And oh yeah, he can also shoot the J when he's left open. It was big yesterday to get this team to where it is now. Also big is their front line. It averages six foot four and overall a decisive height advantage in this matchup for the Sailors. I don't know that I've ever seen a team get all the way to a championship game whose average height is five feet eight inches tall. That's unheard of. And when you talk to their head coach, Tim Morton, even he is at a loss to explain it, but I think it has something to do with the size of their heart. They're a special, special group. There's something about them. You know, you look at them on paper, you know, we're 55% from the foul line. You know, we're not, we're not a great shooting team. Um, we always find a way to get it done. And I, it all starts with defense. I think you got to play good team defense, uh, no matter how big you are. You know, and we got to play a little bit harder because we're always undersized. This team knows what it takes to win at 24 and 3, and every coach we've talked to this weekend has preached defense as a way to get the title. They will need it tonight. They only have four guys over six feet tall. They aim for their first ever state championship in school history. Will that be a factor or not? The Sailors, in the meantime, aim for their second. Let the battle begin for bragging rights in B. Next. The MHSAA Boys Basketball Finals on Fox Sports Net are brought to you by Mission Van Commuter Van Pooler. Take the work out of getting to work. And by Gardner White Furniture. We're known by the money you keep. They're finding their way to the seats here at the Breslin Center for the Class B State Championship. Now Eric Oforset has the announcement of tonight's starting lineups and the national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time we invite you to stand. Gentlemen, remove your caps as we honor America by the singing of our national anthem. Our national anthem this evening being presented by Sarah Verdon of Ovid Elsie High School. Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. Oh, say, can you who see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the Say, does 
Thank you. Sarah Burden, Obed L.C. High School. Thank you, Sarah. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The Michigan High School Athletic Association welcomes you to the campus of Michigan State University and the Jack Breslin Student Event Center for this evening's final game in the 2002 Class B Boys Basketball Tournament. The teams and athletes in this evening's competition are giving their best, and they deserve the best from you fans as well. Good sportsmanship brings out the best in all of us. Now let's meet the starting lineup for this evening's game between the Sailors of Grand Rapids South Christian and the Yellow Jackets of Auburn Hills Avondale. For Grand Rapids South Christian, at forward 6'3", junior, 21, Robbie White. For Auburn Hills Avondale, at forward 6'1", senior, 21, Jeremiah Handley. For the Sailors, at the other forward, 6'2", junior, 32, Joe Skinner. For the Yellow Jackets, a forward, six-foot senior, 35, Mike Lewis. At center for Grand Rapids South, Christian, 6'9", junior, 54, Kirk Walters. For Auburn Hills Avondale, center, 6'5", senior, 53, Kevin McConnell. For South Christian at guard, six foot junior, number five, Danny Brown. For the Yellow Jackets at guard, five six senior, 11, Wes Whiteside. And at the other guard for Grand Rapids South Christian, six foot junior, 33, Derek Van Sultima. And for Avondale at guard, Six-foot senior, number 23, Deontay Miller. Head coach, Grand Rapids South Christian High School, Ken Hiskus. Head coach, Auburn Hills Avondale High School, Tim Morton. Officials this evening are Kevin Harrity. Both teams 24 up and three down. Something has to give, and you would have thought something had to give with Trevor Thompson. He's worked all three games so far, but he keeps going strong. Trevor? Matt, two players from the... Two members of the South Christian team entered today's game with much more than basketball on their minds. The father of head coach Ken Hiskus is in a Chicago area hospital suffering from brain tumors. The one thing that brings him happiness, watching game tapes of his son's team. While his top player, meanwhile, is his grandfather is suffering from terminal cancer. He has a tribute to his grandfather on his shoes for Gramps. The good news for Derek Van Sokoma, his grandfather is able to be here today and support him. Although their, their loved ones are ailing, there's no doubt a state championship would bring them happiness. No question about that, Trevor. Thank you. So they play with a bit of a heavy heart, but also an awful lot of inspiration. There's our officials tonight, Kevin Herndeheen, Stephen Johnson, and Philip DeGabriel. And in the middle, a couple of big fellas, Kevin McConnell, for Auburn Hills, Avondale, who's dressed out in white. McConnell, 6'5", 195, and Kirk Walters, the junior, 6'9", 210. South Christian wins the tap. Gets an easy look early on. Right off the jump ball, getting the edge. This game will be interesting because you've got a huge size advantage, obviously, for a South Christian, but a lot of quickness, a lot of heart that we talked about in the presence of Avondale. With Mike Lewis inside amongst the trees and the putback. And the one guy who can do some damage inside is 35, Mike, Mike Lewis. Lewis. He's quick, he's strong, he's gritty. And when he gets the ball in the paint, he will not back down. Skinner for three, missed it, and McConnell with a rebound. Joe Skinner's first miss in two games. He was four for four in yesterday's win over Detroit Renaissance. Deontay Miller, here's Kevin McConnell. McConnell to center, now Deontay Miller. Miller against Robbie White's a good matchup. Now on the floor, Jeremiah Handler. Had it knocked away. And here's the Sailors moving their way. And Stolkman takes it at the rim, missed the shot. 
Rebound, Skinner, the putback, and he's fouled inside. Here's how these two teams got here. An overtime, a double overtime win over Niles for Grand Rapids South Christian. And then beating Detroit Renaissance. Avondale able to sneak by Williamston and Comstock Park to reach the championship matchup. So in a way, Grand Rapids South Christian really lucky to be here. They needed overtime in two games, the quarterfinals and the semis. But here they are. Skinner is 61% free thrower, cans them both. This is West Whiteside. Zone defense being applied right now by South Christian. Lewis taking it inside again. But Lewis is dangerous lurking along that baseline, and they look for him. He doesn't waste a lot of time when he gets the basketball. He wants to get to the rack with it. Skinner along the wing, not afraid to put it up there. Danny Brown runs the offense. This trip down for the Sailors. Nice throw from up. Now they go inside. Walters just it back topside. Working it around to Skinner. Brown again for three. Off the back rim. Long rebound and it's chased down by Robbie White. There's an offensive foul. Derek Van Solkema picks up his first personal. And there's that quickness we talked about. You see it on the defensive end of the floor, guarding man-to-man -man Wes Whiteside, able to put himself on the baseline and cut the path off, drawing that charge. Whiteside will try and use his quickness anytime South Christian goes into his own defense. And a blocking foul against Derek Van Solkema. That's his second in a row. Avondale will inbound. White side again will set up the offense. Rebel. Yep. Nice job by Deontay Miller, who gives them 17 points per on average. Able to shoot that shot. South Christian will want to identify him when he's on the perimeter, try to put a little bit more pressure on the shot. Especially since he shoots 40% from behind that big O. Mm -hmm. Skinner to Brown, now inside. Walters, turnaround jumper, and he drew some contact. Walters, 6'9". Kevin McConnell there, 6'5", so giving away four inches. And what Walters does a pretty good job of, Greg, is finding his way into the low box. The one detriment that he has, he only weighs in at 210 pounds. They want more beef on this, this kid, and if they can get about 50 pounds or more, it's going to be tough to move him out of those painted area, isn't it? Well, you know, when you're, when you're that tall and that young, sometimes, you know, it takes the, the body chemistry a little time to catch up. So he can lift weights, eat all he wants. It's going to happen naturally, but he's important to them. And if he can get a guy like McConnell in foul trouble, McConnell is Avondale's tallest player. They need him out on the floor. He's playing with one foul right now. Yellow Jackets on top by one. And Stolkin is out for South Christian. And into the ball game is number 44, Scott Warson. Lewis, good dish inside, a good block by Skinner. They continue to work at it. Two blocks in a row. And it'll be South Christian basketball. But Brandon Lavardane really had good position inside for Avondale, but couldn't finish it because Kirk Walters. Well, if you get the basketball inside, if you don't go up strong, then you probably don't want to go up at all, given the size disadvantage. Move it, try to get a better shot. Skinner to Danny Brown. Sailors trying to regain the lead. They'll feed it inside to Walters. Turn around, jumper off the high glass. No. And look who's in there to grab the rebound. Mike Lewis, who averages a double-double on the year, 15 and 10. Here's a bomb. And that's off the mark. Lewis again fights for the rebound. And another attempt. Miller got it on the second try. Undaunted. Certainly not dismayed by the first miss. He caught it and... Launched it without hesitation, his second three. Skinner after the overplay by Lewis, took it to the rack and an offensive foul. Well, you've got to be smart 
you got to play with intelligence when you're giving up the size that Avondale's giving up right now. Here's that three-pointer with the second one by Deontay Miller. And here's the offensive charge. And here's what I'm saying about, you know, getting smart, just putting yourself in position, helping out, not trying to block shots because you're undersized, but you can certainly draw charges by getting in correct position. Tim Morton, no doubt, very happy. And now he gets to go to David Holston, number 15. Just a sophomore, 5'6", 130. But a jitterbug. Turnaround jumper in the lane, a miss. And a rebound comes out to Danny Brown. Good crossover. And he looked like a block there, but they're going to see a little bit of contact on the body. Deontay Miller picks up his first personal foul, but he has been huge in this first quarter. Danny Brown, in the meantime, toes the line for a pair. Brown, a 72% free throw shooter, converts on the first. He had seven points in 33 minutes yesterday. Second one is good, and it's a 10-8 game in favor of the Yellow Jackets, who have a very unique way of warming up for the state championship matchup. Whatever it is, it's working. They're sliding after loose balls and hitting big shots. That's why they lead by two early on on Fox Sports Night. Ken Hiskis in South Christian down by two. He knew he had an advantage up front with his size. If there's one disadvantage his team has, it's the speed and quickness of the backcourt against Avondale. They got some, the kids call them ankle breakers, you know, that they can embarrass you with their dribble. And so they try to spread your defense. And I think they had a lot of success in the fourth quarter running four corners. So I think a real key is getting a lead on them so they can't do that. And one of those guys, Dave Holston, who had 16 points, three rebounds, an assist, and a steal in the win over Comstock Park Friday evening. Trevor Thompson. Matt, Ken Hiskus told his guys, we've got all the dumb plays out of our system. Now let's settle down and play ball. But his biggest concern is the glass. He wants them to start rebounding. And it's amazing. They've got the bigger team, but they're not getting it done on the glass. Back to you. Nothing wrong with being blunt, is there? Here's Danny Brown taking it right at the rack. Taking advantage of the turnover, that keys their transition game. And South Christian able to beat Avondale down the floor. Tied at 10, Jeremiah Handley. Working against Joe Skinner. There's another turnover. Good defense by South Christian. Greg talked about it in the open. That is the key to advancing in any sport at any level. And a near turnover there. Good hustle by Avondale. And that's really what has gotten them to this point, right? Well, when Avondale gets the basketball inside on offense, they cannot be hesitant. Picking up your dribble and getting caught in a crowd. Very, very tough to pass out of that because South Christian's so tall with long arms and they're active defensively. On the inbound, a partial block from behind by Jeremiah Hamlet. Without the foul, and that's tough to do. Sure is. Wilson in traffic, had it blocked. Wilson picked up the loose basketball. Wilson with a stutter step move. And now it's Danny Brown. We got the Twin Towers in there. Ben Brinks wears number 53 in blue. He's 6'9. They go to Walters. Smart. That's too easy. Smart. Spread the floor, get the ball inside to your big people, and allow them some space to operate. That's just simple, smart basketball by South Christian. Marva Dane had it knocked away. Lewis tracked it down. Holston for three. The rim, a big rebound grabbed by Kirk Walters. Big is right. Danny Brown slicing his way. Had it knocked away, but they're going to call a little contact. I think they'll call that against Jeremiah Hanley. A moment ago, you had Grand Rapids South and Christian ball, spreading ball, the floor. You're going to get a little dive into first. the middle by Kirk, Kirk Walters. Ball, and with all kinds of room, to get his shot off, used his height, used his body, got a high percentage opportunity. Danny Brown makes the first free throw. Three for three from the stripe so far for Danny Brown, the six foot, 160 pound junior. Rebound spread out even, even though South Christian has the height advantage. 
second one is good as well. Eight nothing run by South Christian as they start to impose their size on the smaller Avondale team. Derek Van Stolkema is back into the ball game, replacing Danny Brown. Also checking in is Brandon Holst for South Christian. It's a fresh body for Avondale. Corey Powell he played 11 minutes yesterday, but had nothing to show for. Holston goes to the left side for Deontay Miller. Miller feeding McConnell, looking inside, and a good feed and a great finish there by Mike Lewis. I, I'm telling you, he's so dangerous on that baseline. He gets behind the defense. They can't find him. Derek Van Sokoma working his way. Now baseline takes it strong to the hole, and he's fouled. Here's the dangerous Mike Lewis. He's going to just backdoor right into that area. And here comes the pass straight in from the free throw line extended. I'm telling you, whenever you're able to spread the floor and give your post up guy room to maneuver, he can be deadly. Christian really getting to the line. South Christian 20 of 29 yesterday in the overtime went over Detroit Rensen. And Sokoma was 8 for 10 in that ball game. In the quarterfinals against Niles, Van Sulkema had 36 points, Greg. 21 came from the free throw line. He was 21 of 25. Got the kind roll there to give his sailors a four-point advantage. That's a lot of free throws Isn't it, in a 32-minute high school game. <laughs> sure it is. Deontay Miller. And they'll work it to the left side, Corey Powell. Watched it for a moment. Deontay Miller to McConnell swings it right side Holston now Miller for three he's already got one that one rimmed off they Try to save it, but it's out along the baseline Tim Bloom Giving the effort with under a minute to go here in the first quarter David Holston will inbound finds Deontay Miller Miller in the lane pop shot hey. The quickness and the control to stop on a dime before elevating. Oh, he's a good player, no question about that. Avoided drawing a charge. Turnover, South Christian. Ben Klusterman stepped out along the sideline there, or baseline, I should say. And now the Yellow Jackets with a chance to tie or go on top by one with a three. Already, South Christian has gone deeper into their bench than they did yesterday against Detroit Renaissance. Miller against Klusterman. Kicks it back out to Powell. They want to take the last shot. This is the guy I wanted. Holston. Dave Holston. Great dish. Piccolo with the easy layup. Wow. That came out of a spread floor situation. Therefore, it was very tough for South Christian to recover into the lane to harass the, the defense, the penetration. Van Sokoma for three, and he gives the Sailors a three-point edge after one. A huge triple from the leader of this basketball team as the horn was about to sound. Well, he knew the clock and knew what he wanted. Maybe got away with a little push off there. That would have been his second foul, but it wasn't called. And he drains the long three. And that's an important hoop for the Sailors. After eight minutes of play, they lead by three. The togetherness is evident on both clubs. There's been some big plays already. We should have a tight one throughout. Stay with us the second quarter. Upcoming. Come on. Good ball game to start for the Class B bragging rights. South Christian on top by Set three. Up the offense. Dante Miller has been a big reason why Avondale has been able to hang close. Yeah, he's been able to get two really good looks from outside. Had a third that he was unable to put down, but his outside shooting is certainly key because they need a stretched defense. If he can hit from outside, he'll stretch the defense. Yesterday, nine points. Today, eight already on three of five shooting. Yeah, struggled yesterday, no question about that. He was only yesterday, you looked at those big numbers, four of 13. Well, he's only one of two from behind the three-point line already tonight. He's two for four. And the Yellow Jackets open up the second quarter with a basketball. Jeremiah Hanley on the wing. Here's Deontay Miller against Danny Brown. 
Fires over Brown. Fills it over Brown. Can tie it up at 19. Well, Brown's got to give him a room, give him a little room because he he doesn't want to get beat off the dribble. But maybe you want to force Miller into the middle where all your help might be. You certainly don't want to give him continued good looks from outside. Skinner feeds Walters, who tried to kick it back out because of the double team. Referees say it was tapped by somebody, and Sokuma didn't realize it. Avondale got a piece of that. Van Sokuma from way downtown. Oh, my! Man, he's going to make you come out and play him. He's a threat on that side of the half court. Miller tries to answer. Doesn't. Put back. Yes. Good rebound by Brandon Labardain. And a timeout against South Christian because they don't like what's happening on the glass right now. Look at Miller as his defender backs away, so he pops the shot, but then coming way back, right back down. Now look how far out Van Sokoma is. I mean, this thing is launched. <laughs> that would have been a three-pointer in any league. And of course, he is playing for his grandfather and his grandmother. Some uh, inspiration there for Derek Van Sokoma, his grandfather there on the right, Gil Van Sokoma. Told his grandson before the regional game against Hudsonville Unity Christian about his illness and asked him to win one for him. And he's trying to do just that. Joe Skinner feeds the post. Tough shot. Backside board and blocked. But Robbie White taking his coach's instructions to heart. Ken Hiskus no doubt telling his team, you've got to crash the boards, young man. Robbie White did just that and drew a foul. White is an all-conference selection. Everybody celebrated after the quarterfinal win, Greg. White went by himself into the locker room. I said, guys, what's the big deal? You know, still a ways to go, yeah. Very calm, very cool. Yeah, unless, you, you know, unless you're satisfied with this, he wanted more. He's given his team a three-point advantage. McConnell kicks it out. They swing it around. Handling for three. Nope. McConnell tried to put back and is fouled from behind by Danny Brown. You know, right now, South Christian doing a very poor job of blocking out on the glass. They're letting this smaller Avondale team have second shot after another. Just working the offensive glass. Well, keep up with the MHSAA tournaments on the web. Complete statistics, live audio, and plenty of other information at MHSAA.com. Check it out. I'm glad you've checked us out here on Fox Sports Net. The final game of four in a row. State championship bragging rights. In Class B, this one, Kevin McConnell missing the first. Evan Dale getting some fresh bodies out there. McConnell, who also runs track. Sister Stephanie is a cheerleader. Cheers him on at every game, even though she's a sophomore. Nothing to cheer about there. He missed both free throws. Basketball in favor of South Christian. Six and a half to go in the half. South Christian leading by three. Eric Van Sokoma looking inside. Now Danny Brown, eyes the three, a little strong. Big rebound by Mike Lewis. Kid's been tough inside, hasn't he, Yes, Greg? indeed. Deontay Miller, nice stutter step move. Couldn't finish it off. Handley couldn't hold on to the rebound. It'll be South Christian ball. Again inside, Walters forcing it up, no. Skinner with a putback, he couldn't fill it. And it's knocked out of bounds, and they're gonna say it's off Avondale. I think I'd keep going down low to my big people, Walters. He's gonna draw fouls if he doesn't connect on the field goal. And Avondale can ill afford foul trouble to their interior people. And Solkema feeds Skinner, Joe Skinner. Had it blocked by Deontay Miller. Miller's done it on the offensive end and the defensive end. Now Wes Whiteside. Miller against Danny Brown. Trying to create some space. Now it's Mike Lewis. 
the West White side. Set up the offense with five and a half to go in the half. Near steal by Brown. Gives Miller an open look. Couldn't convert. Rebound Van Sokin. Picked off by Lewis. This is football instincts. Lewis will take it coast to coast and lay it in. 35. Lewis. Skinner was open long, but they saw him too late. So they ended up turning the ball over South Christian, and it led right back to a two-point conversion in the transition off the turnover, off the defense, and a one-point game now. Brown in the lane, lost it for a moment. Skinner, he can hit the three. Short. Another rebound for Avondale. Deontay Miller. Now Whiteside directing traffic. South Christian in a man-to-man. -man. They'll switch up their defenses. Sometimes 2-3, sometimes 3-2. Now they're in the man-to-man. -man. Deontay Miller will try and take advantage. Whiteside couldn't hold on to it. Loose on the floor. McConnell had it stripped and a foul from behind. Joe Skinner with a reach-in foul. A moment ago, Van Sokol, uh, Sokomo had the basketball. He saw Skinner long. He's open right now. But now he's not open because the pass was short. It had no speed on it, and that was the end result. Lewis converting on the other end, pulling his team to within one. Only takes a split second, doesn't it? it. Very close ball game. 24-23. South Christian on top. Don't forget later, it's the Detroit Sports Report, now expanded to cover the entire world of sports from Detroit and beyond. Tonight, we look at a wrap-up of all four title games here in East Lansing. Another Wings Ab showdown. I'm glad was that a good one. And our poll question tonight, who's your money goalie? Is it Hasek? Is it Wah? Is it Brodeur? To answer tonight's poll question, log out of foxsports.com, keyword Detroit, the Detroit Sports Report. Now the only sports show Detroit fans will ever need at 10 o'clock tonight. Who's your money goalie? My money goalie would have to be Dominic Hoss. I knew you'd say that. I knew it. Look at points in the paint. Avondale, even though, even though they have such a smaller team, a shorter team, I should say. And a lot of that. Inside. Yeah, that's off the offensive glass. A lot of that, which is surprising. And because of this guy, Lewis, not afraid of anybody. He's a nice player, Greg. He is their offensive that's presence. And you're right. Lewis. He's not intimidated by anybody. He's seen tall people all season long. <laughs> His team has seen tall people all season and long. And there he is on the defensive end. Look at that save. <laughs> Avondale basketball. <laughs> on the dribble, Lewis able to beat Skinner, elevating in a crowd, soft touch on the shot, he gets the roll. And then on the other end, the hustle doesn't stop. There he chases it down. Ball goes out of bounds the other way. Avondale, they've got the momentum. And they're right here. Avondale shooting 48% from the floor. Grand Rapids South Christian, 31%. Dave Holston, quick move. It's tough for him to finish in there, though. He's going to have to get inside, make better decisions. There's Danny Brown. Van Stolkema quickly, they rotate it. And Sokoma again. Oh, in and out. Rebound inside. Look at him leap. Brandon Lavardane. Now Whiteside. Look at that quickness. Couldn't get the English enough to get it to roll home, but breaking him down and thinking about it. Host him with a steal. Two on one down low. Lewis. Nobody's fouled. You talked about it at the beginning, Greg. You talked about something called heart. They're showing an awful lot of it, aren't they? They really are. And the speed and the quickness that Coach Ken Hiskis was talking about, he feared. There's the pass, up for grab. Turnover, the bounce pass, and the foul, and nearly a three-point opportunity for Lewis, who's having himself one whale of a first half. Sure is. Mike Lewis, a 48% free throw shooter, though. Joe Skinner now three personal fouls, so he has to leave probably for the rest of the half. And they bring in six foot nine junior Kirk Walters. Lewis will either attend Ferris State or Wayne State next year and play football. There's a defensive end, led the team in sacks with 17. Got that mentality, but he missed both free throws. And Solcoma. 
top side. Wide open three for Robbie White. Couldn't hit it. Rebound tapped around inside. They fight for it on the floor now. Who wants it? And a jump ball. Possession arrow in favor of Avondale. Who else would be at the bottom of that pile, folks? Actually, South Christian has the possession arrow in their favor. So Kirk Walters will inbound. To Ben Brinks, and now to Danny Brown. Back to Walters inside, and a push from behind by Kevin McConnell. That is his third. Well, too late now, but he needed to avoid picking that third foul up because, as I said before, it's six feet five inches tall. Kevin McConnell is their tallest player. Not much on the offensive end does he give them, but they need his defensive presence, his height. Walters makes the first, just a 47% free throw shooter. We talked about him trying to gain weight. Coaches tell us he eats like a horse. His metabolism is such that he just doesn't gain a lot of weight. It'll come later. <laughs> Trust me. He converts them both, and the Sailors are back on top by one. Under three minutes to go in the first half. And they drop back into their zone defense. A 3-2 zone that was pretty effective yesterday against Detroit Renaissance. With Walters on the hit. Get it inside. Marvadane, good shot. Just a six-foot floater from the dotted line to put the Jackets back on top. And Matt, that's a tough shot. That little in-between chip shot, but smart to pull up as opposed to drawing a charge. Now Brown just drew some contact, and he'll get a chance to convert a three-point play. Good ball game, folks. I was thinking the same thing. It's very good ball game. Here's the pull up. Lavardine. And then the rebuttal. Danny Brown off the window. And some. Most of his points have come from the free throw line tonight. He has nine points. Five have come from the strike. The Sailors lead by two. Deontay Miller. Now Whiteside. They're on the wing. Bobardain. The free throw line. Bounce pass feed to Lewis. Double team by two big fellas. Got a push back in his face. Now it's loose on the floor and a jump ball. And the possession arrow in favor of Avondale. The easiest thing for a guy who's attempting to block a shot to do is block it when you don't take him anywhere. That time, Lewis tried to elevate right in the face of the defense, made it easy for them to stop him. Now we split that defense. Miller wide open for three. Off the back rim. Smallest kid on the court got the rebound, David Holston. Boy, Ken Hiskus, the head coach of South Christian, was livid after he watched the 5'6 sophomore sneak in and grab hold of him. Miller on the wing. He and the Jackets trail by two. Colston and Whiteside. Of our game. Good bounce pass. Feed to Lewis. Textbook. Textbook. That was an extra pass right there. And the extra pass is the one that's toughest to defend because it takes an extra recovery from the defense, which they can't, uh, they can't uh, achieve. Two defenders on Laverdane. The bounce pass to Lewis. He goes up strong this time. And quick. And quick. Didn't put it on the floor, yep. grabbed it, and went right up with it. That's why we're deadlocked at 29. Buck and a half to go in the half. Warson underneath. Lewis with a steal, but he stepped out along the baseline. You cannot walk away from this game without being impressed with this kid right here. Robbie White, good ball fake. Tough shot. Avondale with a chance to take the lead. Colston, stop, pop, book it. Three, fifteen, nice seven. transition effort. 32-29. Doesn't play like a sophomore, does he? Inside to Walters. Good look inside. Ben Brinks with a finish. The extra pass again. And the twin towers working in tandem, taking advantage of that. Towerous appearance. 
see if Avondale plays for the final shot. Uh, Wilson. Mismatch in terms of speed. You talk about breaking ankles. He missed the shot, though. And breaks with a rebound. It, he broke an ankle, but the decision, and now you've got a chance uh, for South Christian to get the last shot of the half. And Danny Brown timeout. had timeout. to call the timeout. 30 second timeout. The quickness, again, a factor on the trap as well. You can't pick up your dribble too early. You don't want to dribble to the corner either, do you? Well, the corner and the sideline serves as an extra defender, so you really have to be careful. In transition earlier, number 15, Dave Holston pulling up. So tough. Gives them almost 11 points a game off the bench. But here's the twin tower effect. Three defenders go over on Walters. He's able to turn and hit Brinks, and they get the high percentage shot. How about this kid? 5'6", 130 pounds, 16 points against Williamston in the quarterfinals, including 8-for-8 eight eight from the floor. Follows that up in the semis against Comstock Park with a 16-point performance on 6-of-8 shooting. Five lead changes in this one. The Sailors would love to make it six as they head to the locker room. They have 19 seconds to get it done. Danny Brown against David Holston. Takes a glance at the clock, nine. Had it poked from behind and then knocked out of bounds off Deontay Miller. Well, did you see the way Holston set him up for that? He allowed Brown to go by him, got the knock away from behind, costing uh, South Christian vital time. They've got six seconds, but they've got to hurry now. Now Brown again, looking for Van Sokoma. Instead for White, again, knocked out of bounds. Great defense by Avondale. They're really filling the lanes well with their hands. Now they really got to hurry. <laughs> 1.8. You got to feed it inside, don't you? You would think. That's an option. Watch Van Sokoma. They go to Walters to turn around jumper at the horn. Good. Good call, Coach. In fact, so good, I'm going to let you describe it. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, they're going to bring the big fella right there, and he's just going to get a nice look. Boy, I don't draw as well as you do, but that's a nice <laughs> shot and a nice play. They didn't even need a huddle to get it done. Now huddling up with Trevor Thompson is Ken Hiskus, the head coach of South Christian, who I would think, Trevor, is a little surprised at the fact that his team is getting out-rebounded in this one, yes? Well, let's ask him, Matt. Matt wants to know if you're surprised that your team's being out-rebounded here this afternoon. I sure am. That's what we're going to be talking about inside the locker room. That, that's, there's no excuse for that. They're just quicker to the ball than we are right now. Is it because they're boxing out, getting better position, or is it the fact that you think they just maybe want it more right now than your guys? No, I think it's the fact that they are very quick and they're penetrating and we're getting out of position. we got to do a better job stopping their penetration, then we'll rebound better. What kind of adjustments do you want to make for the second half? Well, like I just said, we have to stop their penetration so that we are man-on-man -on, -man on rebounds. Thanks a lot, Coach, for stopping by. Matt, we'll go back to you. Trevor, thank you. So Ken Hiskus and his team have a one-point advantage going to the break, but they are not satisfied by any means at all. We are at halftime of the Class B state championship game at the Breslin Center. It has been nip and tuck throughout. Mike Lewis has been strong inside. Avondale hanging with a taller Sailors Club. They trail by one, though. At the break right now, South Christian on top because of a late three-pointer, but so far in this ballgame, Greg Kelser, I think it has been everything we expected. Avondale has shown the heart. They have shown the ability to go inside and defy the odds, really. A lot of people expected South Christian, including yours truly, to dominate inside. That hasn't been the case, has it? Hasn't happened, and maybe we shouldn't be surprised. After all, Avondale is here. They've seen, they've been the, under, uh, the undersized team in every matchup but they've still managed to win 24 out of 27 games. Well, Avondale was uh, special from outside and inside. Mike Lewis has gotten the job done, and then there has been guys who have taken over, really, and been able to do it inside and do it on the glass. Matt, the thing that, the thing that has really helped Grand Rapids uh, South Christian when they've been on offense, they have been able to work it inside to their interior people. 
And Van Slokema has helped him on the outside with his outside shooting. He's got to avoid further foul trouble. He was a, he picked up two and was almost almost about to hit three. And it was his shot near the end of the half that gave them their narrow lead. I think this is going to be a very competitive game. Maybe our best game of the day. It certainly is up to this point. Yeah, and then Kirk Walters, of course, hit that shot just as the buzzer sounded to give the Sailors that one-point advantage heading into the locker room. Neither team is really shooting where they expected to shoot, but we have ourselves a very tight contest with 16 minutes left to go. The third quarter is right around the corner. Stick around. We'll have more from the Breslin Center when we return on Fox Sports Net. And I'm on. 33-32, South Christian on top of Avondale with 16 minutes in the books. We'll see what kind of uh, adjustments the Yellow Jackets have to make. Tim Morton is now joined Trevor Thompson. Trev? Well, Matt, I'm not sure he wants to make any adjustments. Things must be going your way so far. Well, I think offensively we're doing exactly what we need to do. Uh, the problem is we keep putting them to the line, and you know, they're, make, they're making a living at the foul line. And 15 out of 15, can't do any better than that. And we're 0 for 4. So that's what we wrote on the board. He said, well, you know, we need to get to the line. We need to keep them from getting to the line. Play fundamentally without fouling, and we're going to be fine. You did a great job on the boards, though. What other adjustments did you tell you guys about at halftime? Well, we're going to play the interior defense a little bit different, make an adjustment there, and see if that can contain them a little bit more in there without fouling, and we'll, we'll be all right. Thanks, Coach. Great luck in the second half. Matt, we'll go back to you guys. All right, Trevor, thank you very much. Tim Morton uh, has to be somewhat pleased at the way his club has been able to respond, especially Greg Kelser with points in the paint where they are dominating. Well, taking advantage of, 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 of their size, uh, the 36 percent free throw, uh, excuse me, field goal shooting, they should do a little bit better than that if they can get the ball inside. Three point shooting, not that big of a factor. Of the 16 rebounds that Avondale, Avondale has, eight of them are offensive. Here's huge advantage right there for oh, South folks, Christian. Yeah, folks here have been treated to a special first half, and they were treated to a special halftime ceremony as well. Trevor Thompson, what were they witnessing? Well, Matt, what they were witnessing was 86-year-old Lofton Green and about 50 of his former players being honored at halftime as part of the Legends of the Game Award. Now, Lofton Green was at River Rouge for more than 41 years. He became the winningest coach in uh, high school basketball history. You see him here with 50 of his former team, uh, former players. Over that 41 years, he won over 730 games and a dozen Class B titles. That's 12 titles, unprecedented record. He made it out today. Although his body is frail and ailing, his spirit is kept alive and well by his players here today. So obviously, he's got a lot of appreciation for what he's done and his contributions to basketball in the River Rouge area. Trevor, thank you. Hard to believe he won five straight, took a little time off, and then won four straight as well. Avondale is looking for their first ever. Mike Lewis is doing the best he can to give it to him. The second half comes your way after this. Tigers baseball is back. Higginson and the Tigers are ready to challenge in the AL Central. And it is gone! But Greg Vaughn and the improved Devil Rays are looking to get off to a fast start. Tiger season opener, April 2nd on Fox Sports Net. Every move. Every story. Every weeknight. Did you see that? That's a classic. Oh, you believe that? This is Fox Sports Net. Your exclusive destination for all that is NASCAR. Totally NASCAR. Weeknights at 6. Third quarter set to get underway here in the Class B state championship tilt between Grand Rapids South Christian and Auburn Hills Avondale. A one point lead for the Sailors from the west side of the state. Both starting five. Members of their respective clubs are out there. The Sailors start with a basketball. Joe Skinner, three personal fouls in that first half. Derek Van Sulker. Now Skinner. This is Danny Brown. Skinner along the wing against Mike Lewis. They're looking to feed Kirk Walters inside. Skinner for three, missed it. And Lewis for the complimentary rebound. Skinner settled that time. 
Lost his patience. Decided to launch. I know you say he can hit it from out there, but he hasn't hit one in this game yet. Shot selection down the stretch in the second half will be key for both teams. Here's Wes Whiteside. Scanning the South Christian defense. Way out is Kevin McConnell, their center. Good look inside. Whiteside. Man, how did he sneak free in there? Five foot six inches tall. <laughs> Little fella's not afraid to get it in the paint and then knock it off the window. Give his team a one-point lead. Danny Brown with a head fake. Out drives off the glass. Danny Brown. Back and forth we go. Brown has had a sound game. Nine lead changes in this ballgame. McConnell settles for three. Missed it. White side with a rebound. Now Lewis. Skip pass. Miller for three. Oh, yeah. Oh. Second chance point. Offensive rebounding still looming large for Avondale. Who would have thought that? Four triples for Deontay Miller. Van Sulkin driving baseline, forcing. Put back. Yes. Kirk Walters is there to use that big six foot nine, 100 and, or 210 frame. And we're tied at 37. Jeremiah Hanley. Now Mike Lewis looking inside against Joe Skinner to the right wing for Wes Whiteside. Back to Lewis and a tapped away by Skinner diving on the floor. Lewis tracked it down to Whiteside. They've got numbers. They got a couple of sailors caught. Miller again. McConnell with a backside board. Andy Brown thought he saved it, but he stepped out of bounds along the side. Oh, that hurt. That hurt because Van Sokoma was wide open for the layup had he been able to keep the feet inbounds. Here's the errant ball. And right there, the toe on the line. Good call. Whiteside setting things up. Now Lewis tried to get it back to Whiteside. Tracked down by Deontay Miller. Boy, Avondale dodging bullets. Getting sloppy with their ball handling, but maintaining possession. They're tied at 37. Rebounds about even there, but Avondale so much smaller. And look at the move inside by Whiteside. That's the quickness. And that little hesitation in midair brought in the necessary clearance to get that shot off. It was about to get blocked. Two straight points in the paint for Whiteside. And Sulkin's three-pointer is way short. Whiteside directing his offense. Now he'll dribble down the middle of the lane. Missing the shot, McConnell. Loose on the floor. Who wants it? Avondale does. That has been the theme of the entire ball game. A wraparound foul on Danny Brown, his second. South Christian is just getting beat on hustle points, Greg. Well, they're getting out quick. I think they're trying, but they just don't have the quickness. And when the ball is low and rolling on the floor, it's going to be to advantage to the advantage of Avondale. Unfortunately for South Christian, when it's up high off the glass, it's Avondale's advantage too. And that's what they didn't expect. David Holston checks into the ball game for Avondale, spelling Wes Whiteside. Holston has it. Good no-look pass. McConnell does the same for Lewis. Two no-lookers. Nobody wants to see anything. Great team basketball. And the extra pass yet again. Unselfishness. Ugly shot. And out of bounds. Robbie White again settling for the outside look. Little guy Holton, Holston getting inside. There's one good pass to McConnell, and then the extra pass, couple of no-lookers right there. Lewis on the finish. Lewis now with 14. Deontay Miller with a basketball. He has 14. Driving down the lane, make it 16. They are shredding South Christian's defense now. And they're doing that because they're forcing them high out on the floor as defenders and then beating them off the dribble. White's three-pointer, another miss. Again, South Christian settling up ahead. Hanley to the rack. South Christian probably better think about a timeout. You read Ken Hiskis' mind. 
45-37. The Jackets on top by eight. The largest lead for either ball club. Why? Because they're taking it inside. An eight-nothing run for Avondale gives them this lead in the third. The factory authorized sale only at Gardner White. An 8 0 run by Avondale is giving them a 45 37 lead. And it all was triggered by Dave Holston. He may be 5 6, he may be a sophomore, but head coach Tim Morton loves him. He is money, and he gets the job done. Dave has great court sense. He has a feeling, he is one of those special type of kids that's able to slow the game down. He knows exactly where he's going to go three or four dribbles before he goes to it. And we are fortunate enough to play with him enough this summer and all season long that we know that he's going to get us the ball in the right situation if we, if we get to the right spot. He has played three solid games in a row coming into this one. I would consider this a fourth straight solid performance for the sophomore. Even though he has three points and two rebounds, sure he may be one for five from the floor, but he is finding his team where he needs to find him and giving this ball club a spark. No question. Do the Sailors have one? We will soon find out. Scott Wilson brings from the baseline. The big fella stepped out. He has four now. And it's a 45-39 Avondale lead. Penetration that time working for South Christian. Nice out of the timeout. Get themselves a, an, an open jump shot that they were able to can off the baseline. Jeremiah Hanley against Robbie White. Dave Holston. Stutter step. Now he'll back it up a little bit. Deontay Miller really setting things up nicely, doesn't he? Couldn't hit the shot. Lewis, the putback, no, but he's fouled. Mike Lewis has been something else. Does South Christian have an answer? We'll soon find out. Trevor Thompson. Trevor. Matt Ken Hiskus thinks the answer is get the ball inside and be more patient on offense. He wants to see more than two passes before a shot goes up. And what he wants his guys to do, other than be patient, is dominate the rest of this half on the boards. He's really, really frustrated about being out-rebounded. It's the second time Trevor's brought that up from the South Christian huddle. The foul, by the way, against Joe Skinner is fourth, and he's got to go to the bench. Well, you know, one of the things that makes it very difficult for South Christian to get rebounds, especially on the defensive end, they can't find anybody to block out. They're, the Avondale players are not stationary out there. So you've got to first chase them down, then try to put your body on theirs and hold your position. Difficult situation for... Uh, South Christian right now. Mike Lewis proving to be a very difficult matchup. Makes both free throws. Now has 16. The lead back to eight. Near steal by Holston. And Sulkin. Working around to Robbie White. White feeding inside to Walters. Turn around jumper doesn't drop. Batted it along the baseline. Scooped up. Who else? Mike Lewis. Avondale with the ball, with the lead, looking for a double-digit advantage. And with the confidence, Holston. Oh, he had it stripped. Danny Brown doesn't have the numbers. Anyway, and go to the line. That was a big defensive strip there by Brown. May not have been a strip, but you didn't get any complaining by Avondale and Holston right there across the arm. Clearly a foul. It goes on call, but no complaining by Holston. He just goes back defensively, as does his teammates, to try to stop the transition basket. Danny Brown makes the first free throw. Made them both. A six-point Avondale lead as we approach the two-minute mark of the third. Deontay Miller. Now to Mike Lewis, the one-two punch of the Yellow Jackets. Jeremiah Hanley. Holston for three. Oh, Hold on. oh his foot was on the line, so they called it a long two. That must have been a balada, because that thing <laughs> died on the rim. That thing bit, didn't it? Sure did. Walters, and he's fouled. McConnell doesn't like it. Uh, 
Evandale foul, 53 McConnell, his fourth. Second team foul. That's four personal fouls on Avondale's big fella. Matt, if, as you watch this shot die on the rim and drop, you know our partner Fred McLeod would have called that a, a rubber rimmer. Or as you corrected him the other night in Phoenix, a Velcro rimmer. <laughs> McConnell is out. And Brandon Larva Dane is back into the ball game for the Yellow Jackets. And he provided a nice little spark in that first half of play. When he was able to score four points, pick up five rebounds. Split at the line. 49-42. Miller for three. All alone. Two alone. Lewis with a gift. Another offensive rebound. I know I'm starting to sound like a broken record, but there's the story. That is incredible. Right it is. There. For a team that has an average height of 5'8", for South Christian to be unable to do anything inside. Another tap away. Deontay Miller lost it on the floor, and they fight for it. Danny Brown is on the bottom of that pile. Here's the last offensive rebound. Now, Lewis is going to end up with it, but there was a fight for it, and then the rebound found him. But everybody going to the glass, selling out, giving it the effort, and boy, are they coming away large. This is what we talked about at the start of the broadcast. The Sailors' average height, six inches on the Yellow Jackets, but it doesn't seem to matter, does it? Lewis again. Give him 20. They're the kid only... had 19 in the quarterfinals, 19 in the semis, and 31 in the regionals. They own the paint. Sure do. <laughs> Lewis lost it out of bounds. They're going to call it off South Christian. If I'm Avondale, I've got a, I've got an 11-point lead right now. There are 38 seconds to go in this quarter. No shot clock. I'm taking the last shot right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. You have momentum on your side. The confidence exudes each time you head down the floor one way or the other. And you're starting to play a little bit with South Christian. Lavardin turned it over. And Sokoma against Holston. Cut off of the pass. Now a dribble drive. Had stolen by Lewis. Holston up ahead. Miller, good control. They're putting on a clinic. They're putting on a clinic, and they're demonstrating that in basketball, height isn't everything. What's the old adage? You can't teach speed. Van Sulkema at the horn. Nope. And that's the way it is going for the Sailors. Mike Lewis has done it offensively and defensively. Points, rebounds, and even steals. The latest, a swipe right here. Hustling after loose basketballs. Then they feed it inside, and Lewis and the Yellow Jackets are eight minutes away from their first ever state championship on Fox Sports Net. Is starting at $105. Beyond the Glory takes you inside the lives of sports' most famous personalities. This week's edition features Miami Heat big man Alonzo Mourning. Beyond the Glory, tomorrow night at 8, you're on Fox Sports Net. It has been a glorious three quarters of basketball for Auburn Hills Avondale. But you have to play 32 minutes. And that's what this team has prided itself on so far this year. Van Sokoma with a hanging lead. Good start. Good start to the comeback effort by South Christian. South Christian has got to let it all hang out here, Greg. I think they will. There's Skinner with a steal despite four personal fouls. Waits for the trailer. Brown to the cup. Yes. Four-nothing spurt to start the fourth, and immediately Avondale calls a timeout. That's a great timeout by Tim Morton. Yeah, because he's not going to, to, to wait stubbornly until the lead is sliced in half. It was a 13-point lead at the end of the quarter. It's nine now, but his team needs to be resettled, and he's going to take this opportunity to do it. Now, this is their first possession. Van Sokoma on the leaner, the hang glider. And then the turnover, Skinner got the turnover, and Danny Brown to the hoop. And now the, turn, the, the timeout to talk about it for Avondale. First time they've had a chance to cheer in a while. Avondale huddling up. 
Trying to settle things down. Meanwhile, South Christian, who was really earlier this year challenged by their head coach, Derek Van Solkema, telling us yesterday, we kind of got soft at the beginning of the year. The local papers were telling us we were number one, we were the best team in the area. We didn't play as hard. They need to play hard here in the fourth. They trail by nine. Skinner's got to be here. careful. Holston, or even through his own teammate. Another turnover. Janny Brown. Derek Van Solkema against Whiteside. Took it strong up the small square and one. And his grandparents have to be happy about that. Her grandson is starting to take control. He has a dozen. And right now they are playing, stepping up to the challenge, playing like champions. Six straight points, perhaps about to be seven for South Christian. What a way to start this fourth quarter. You're down 13. You get six straight. Now you, you're down seven. Missed it. And McConnell with a rebound. And he's quickly double teamed. Turned it over. They missed the layup, but Skinner's there for the tip in. Now Lewis tries to answer. Nice finish. Long pass over the top of the pressing defense. 87 for Avondale. Skinner eyes the three. In and out. Rebound tapped to Van Silken. Brown for three. Off the rim, and Skinner with a rebound, and he is fouled. Well, the South Christian crowd is starting to get into it a little bit more now. And so is their team. They're starting to use that size. They're starting to use that length. Skinner playing with the four fouls. Very physical, drawing that foul, working himself to the line. That third quarter was the big push for Avondale. That's how they've been able to build a lead. Skinner misses the free throw. 8-2, South Christian outscoring Avondale in the early stages of the final quarter. Skinner so effective yesterday in the win over Renaissance. He was perfect from the floor and the line. He split the pair there to make it a six-point deficit. Miller missed the layup. Lewis for the putback, a foul inside before the shot. Well, when you're pressing, you're always going to run the risk of giving up something. And nearly a layup there by Avondale. But the problem here is that Skinner commits his fifth foul, trying to defend on the follow. And he is eliminated with the fifth foul. And he is one of the many leaders this ball club has. Joe Skinner, who has played two and a half years of varsity basketball. Now sits for the rest of the season. His club trailing by six with under six and a half to go. Holston, beautiful move. Couldn't hit the runner, though. Here comes White. Robbie White trying to beat Miller to the hole. And Miller tapped him from behind. Avondale has come a little unglued. I mean, they're forcing things, don't have to. And that's really helping South Christian in this comeback effort. It is amazing how the momentum can shift so quickly in a basketball game, isn't yep. it? Yep, it can turn on a, on a single play. Mark Damster will trigger the inbound. He didn't even play against Detroit Renaissance. Good feed. Van Sulkin finishes it all. 57-53. Avondale's lead trimmed down to four. In two minutes. They've been able to shave nine off the lead. Holston and Whiteside are in there together. It doesn't get much quicker than these two. Miller for three. Nope. And the rebound by Damster. And Sokoma and the Sailors can cut it to a one possession ball game. Danny Brown setting things up. Brinks way outside, back to Brown. White, turnaround jumper. Yep. Tough shot. 
Kyle Christian doing everything correctly now. Took him some time, but they are executing now. Miller did a great job to break down that defensive pressure and get the easy hoop to Mike Lewis. Well, again, you, you give up something and give Avondale credit. They attacked that time, but they attacked under control. Big run here for South Christian, a 13-4 spurt. And they had Brinks wide open inside, and no one looked his way. Van Sulkema for three. Short on it. White chased it down and knocked it off Lewis. Well, hey, where once Avondale was getting to every loose ball, tide is turned. You've got a much quicker South Christian team now. Look as they chase this thing down and then knock it off the Avondale player, Mike Lewis. Van Sulkema using his height to his advantage, but Lewis using his big body to box out. After the miss, Holston, two on one down low, all the way to the rack, missed it. Damster with a great rebound. Brown had his pocket picked. Miller, outstanding dribbling ability. For three, no. And McConnell taps it out of bounds. They are playing like they are behind. Avondale rushing things all out of sorts. Frantic pace, and I'm seeing fatigue on the faces of both teams. I'll tell you what, though, if Miller hits that three, ho oh, ho, Avondale's crowd goes nuts. Ken Hiskus, who wrote on the chalkboard earlier this year, Breslin Center, how bad do you want it? Has to ask his club right now, how bad do you want this game? 4.20 to go, down by four. It'll be one of the great comebacks in the history of Class B. Van Sulkema splitting the D. Damstra had it knocked away. Look at the quickness of Holston, and Damstra picked up the personal foul. What you have is South Christian sensing you know that their season, their championship is slipping away, and they are coming out giving it a, a great, great effort. And on the part of Avondale, a team that seems like it's just trying to hold on. They got the lead. They're trying to, you know, get the, the decision. But they are on the ropes. Make no mistake about that. How about the emotion in this building that you can feel behind us and in front of us and at both sides? The crowd, such an integral part of both teams' success, so well represented. West Whiteside. Now McConnell. Good look to Lewis. Lewis is dangerous as he has been all game, just lurking along the baseline. He's behind the defense, he's underneath the defense, and when they finally spot him, he's usually point blank range with the basketball. He's unstoppable there. He has 26 in the ball game. They feed it inside. Walters double team to the right row blocks and a foul on Mike Lewis. Two free throws coming your way for South Christian. Robbie White will check into the ball game for the Sailors, and he will spell Mark Damstra. He made a couple of nice hustle plays out there. Now they say no shooting foul. So a chance to take a quick timeout with 3.32 left to go in regulation. And the Yellow Jackets leading by a half dozen on Fox Sports Net. It has been a dandy South Christian trying to make a run down by six and their 14 game winning streak on the line. But Derek Van Solkema and company feel like they can finish strong like they have throughout this tournament. We've started to finish games. At the beginning of the year we didn't finish games well. That's how the teams beat us at the beginning of the year. But that, now later on in the season we're uh, finishing games while well. we're making the right plays and making the free throws when it counts. Every time they break the huddle, they yell one thing, prove it. They need to prove it here. The inbound, Walters, turnaround jumper, missed it badly. Loose ball, here comes West Whiteside. Holston against Van Sulkema. You get the sense that South Christian, each offensive trip, they feel like they have to make it. They can take time off now, and it looks like they're going to utilize their ball handling to have to do just that. Miller, great move. Oh, what a shot. Well, 
If you're South Christian, you've expended a lot of energy, but you cannot let this thing go back in the other direction too much farther than here. Eight-point lead, you need to score right now. Miller has 20. Robbie White from the baseline. Missed it, and Lewis with a backside rebound. Because if it gets back up to 10, I think you're going to see a spread floor by Avondale. In fact, you're going to see it right now. And they're going to go for layups if they can beat you off the dribble. Otherwise, they're going to take time off the clock. I don't blame them. Russ Whiteside splits the D. Down the middle of the lane. Missed it. Saved by Whiteside to Holston. That epitomizes Avondale's effort tonight. McConnell. Rinks with a rebound. Not sure why Avondale is taking the shots they are. They're playing like it's a shot clock up there. That helps South Christian. Sure does. We're under two minutes. Danny Brown. Derek Van Sulkema. Back to Brown for three. Way downtown. Short. Van Sulkema with a save. But into the paws of Lewis. Three on one. Miller finished it and won. I guess it's safe to say that they have certainly survived that onslaught that South Christian had the first five and a half minutes of this quarter. It was a 13-point lead that had gone all the way down to two. But Avondale, they regathered themselves. And now the lead is back up to 10 with the chance to go to 11. Deontay Miller, who will be attending Western Michigan University next year, wants to be an industrial engineer. He wants to make a lot of money later on. <laughs> he is a money player in this one, isn't he, Greg? 23 points for Deontay Miller, the six foot, 170 pound senior. He and the Yellow Jackets have been buzzing all game, and with 142 left to go, they have an 11 point cushion. Well, Will, Grand Rapids, South Christian have one more run in them. We'll see. It really hurt when uh, Skinner had to go to the bench with the fifth foul. Well, later on, it's the Detroit Sports Report, now expanded to cover the entire world of sports from Detroit and beyond. Later on tonight, a wrap-up of all four exciting title games here at the Breslin Center. Highlights of the Wings and Abs showdown at the Pepsi Center. And our poll question, who's your money goalie? Hasek, Wah, Curtis Joseph. To answer tonight's poll question, log on to foxsports.com, keyword Detroit. The Detroit Sports Report, now the only sports show Detroit fans will ever need. Here's our selection as the Michigan player of the game. Who else? Mike Lewis, 26 points, nearly perfect from the floor. He has a double-double. Besides those 26 points, he has 14 rebounds. He averages 15 and a half points and 10 rebounds. And has he worn a crown in this championship match or what? Let me tell you something. This Avondale team would have given any team, regardless of class, trouble today. So great. Teardrop is answer. Wow. Had a lot of rain there. And a foul on the aforementioned point guard. Here's that rainbow, that teardrop, that rainmaker <laughs> that you talked about. I mean, it takes forever for this thing to come down. Nearly touched the rafters. Yep. He will be back here at this very gym tomorrow practicing for his AAU ball club. And a timeout by Avondale. Full timeout. We have 125 left to go in regulation. The Yellow Jackets of Avondale have a comfortable lead, 66-58, over the Sailors of South Virginia. Ball game, but here's our plays of the game. Couple of no lookers, and then the extra pass that from McConnell to Lewis. Lewis also our player of the game. That was just part of the dominance that was in the paint for Avondale throughout this game. That's a look at tonight's Gardner White play of the game. Avondale is probably shocked 
most people in this arena except for themselves and their loyal fans. A near flawless game. Holston threw it away. They're determined to keep it interesting though, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> Rushing things, turning it over. Johnny Brown. South Christian needs accuracy on the shots. They can't afford to let too much time click off. I was going to say the clock is as much the enemy as Avondale is. And Sulkema. The Damster. Damster doesn't shoot a whole lot. And it's stripped. Right side. And he's fouled immediately. You know what? Can you really think of a better nickname for a team than the Yellow Jackets for Avenue? Because they're just like a swarm of bees coming from everywhere. Tipping balls, deflecting them, getting uh, interceptions. Uh, tough on the glass. It's like there's five or ten of them out there. It looks like they're going to get the honey pretty soon, too, Greg, because there's under a minute to go. 66-58. Avondale on top. Wes Whiteside, who says the key to this team's win is the fact that they hate losing. Played great basketball here tonight. Good shot by Danny Brown. Put it all on the baseline. A six-point Avondale lead now. And a timeout by South Christian. Two possessions, and keep in mind, Yellow Jackets, not a good free throw shooting team. Good point. I would think about putting them on the free throw line if I'm Grand Rapids South Christian. I mean, they've got a they've got a slew of guys on their team shooting 45 percent. O'Connell, uh, Larbadane 50 percent. Mike Lewis 48 percent. Corey Powell, he won't see the light of day 36 percent. And, and they haven't gone to the free throw line all that much. Yeah. White who, side, 35%. So a lot of guys you could go after. Yeah. Let's recap what's happened for us on this championship Saturday here on Fox Sports Net. Greg Kelser has been alongside for each one of these championship games. Wyoming try Unity with an impressive win thanks to Brandon Voorhees' double double. McBain in a bit of a surprise against Kalamazoo Christian, and they win it by nine because of their edge on the glass. And then you saw earlier today Pontiac Northern beating Detroit Redford by eight. Abram and Ponder with huge games. The senior leadership really showing through much like what has happened with Avondale. Mike Lewis, a senior. Deontay Miller, a senior. Both with over 20 points in this one. Lewis with 26. Miller with 23, respectable. If I'm Avondale, I'm going to get the ball in the hands of my best free throw shooter. And that, that, that would be... Deontay Miller with 68% or Holston 69%. They get it to Lewis. Should have fouled Holston. Holston is finally fouled. You're right, Greg. Those are the things you have to know. Perfect opportunity because as the clock continues to wind, you, you don't get too many opportunities to choose who you foul. And the moment Lewis touched it, he should have been grabbed. Holston three of three against Comstock Park yesterday. Converts the first. He just made it a three-possession game with that make. He has six. Make it seven. An eight-point advantage for Avondale. Danny Brown. And Sulkin, long range three. Yes! Man, oh. He's not going nowhere. He's not going anywhere easily. Man, Sulkin, what a shot. Catch and shoot. He is 20 now. A quick foul. A five point Avondale lead. Deontay Miller at the free throw line. Miller, as Greg mentioned before, a 68% free throw. Watch this catch and shoot. Knowing he's got to get a shot up quickly. Bottoms. Could can flat out shoot it. 62 points the last two games. Miller with a key miss. South Christian up the left wing. Blocked and saved by McConnell. Oh, they're going to say it went out along the baseline. Wow. Wow. That conversion would have made it a one possession game but blocked from behind brilliantly. And Solkoma leans in. 
Couldn't hit it. Rebound McConnell. Quickly tied up. They call a jump ball. Avondale with a possession arrow in their favor. 16.8, a five-point Avondale lead. McConnell will trigger the inbound pass to Holston. Holston immediately fouled. Moments ago, he made two free throws. Four personal fouls now on Derek Van Sulkin. Now the sophomore to the free throw line for two more coming. Look at the free throws. Avondale only had four free throw attempts in the first and couldn't convert. They were at the line for their eighth. South Christian 15 of 15 in the first half. Big reason they went to the break up by one. Holston missed the front end. Fifteen point six seconds to go after our broadcast. We'll take the ceremony and then the Detroit Sports Report coming your way. They need a couple of threes. And Solkema leans in from behind the line. Hit it! And He's, a hitting, timeout. he's hitting some tough little shots, you know, on the run. But that may not be enough. With eight seconds to go, they still need two possessions. And they're going to have to bring the ball the length of the court. 69-66. If they foul right away, if they foul right away, they still need two possessions and it's going to cost them valuable time because they're going to have to bring it the length of the court probably twice, unless they can get a steal and a quick score. A little too close for comfort for Tim Morton, who was a graduate of Avondale High School in 1983. When he played, they never made it past the regional finals. He was an honorable mention All-State. His team, his school, hasn't been this far since he played. They had never been this far, actually, but this deep in the tournament. And here's how the two guards have squared off, and it's been just about even, Greg. Well, that, that was a, a wash, that matchup. Both guys having sound games. But it was in other areas, critical areas, yeah. where you wouldn't have thought that Avondale would be able to explode points in the paint, offensive rebounds. That's where they, uh, that's where they got it done. Well, now they've changed Derek Van Solkema's three-point shot to a two-pointer, and it's now a four-point lead for the Yellow Jackets. Lewis followed immediately. Mike Lewis has turned some heads here today, folks. No question about this. If you didn't know about him before this one, you do now. His favorite player in basketball, Charles Barkley. Why? Because Charles Barkley was only about 6'4", and yet he led the league in rebounding. Mike Lewis feels even though he was a six-footer, six footer, I should say. Hey, look, how about this? It was a three-pointer. That was later called a two. Took off well beyond that line. I think they're going to converse about this, too, to be honest with you. So they may have to put a point up on the board. Can they go to the replay monitor in high school basketball to determine? Because if that's the case, this is definitely a three. But I don't think it's going to happen. Two shots on the double bottle. Two shots for Mike Lewis. They will leave it as a two. The kind roll drops to Mike Lewis. Having to bring the ball the length of the court is going to really hurt South Christian's situation because of the clock. Mm -hmm. Unless they can throw it at least on the other side of the half court line and save time and get something very quick. In and out. They got to hurry. Van Sokum has got a launch. Forced it up. No foul called. Avondale celebrating. A first time state champion.
Evandale defied the odds. A lot of people thought they were too small. Couldn't handle inside play. They proved everybody wrong tonight. They are the Class B state champions with a 70 to 65 win. Tim Morton has just fulfilled a lifelong dream. He couldn't win it as a player. He said it would be even more satisfying as a coach. Satisfaction guaranteed. Big did not fare well in this game against the grit and the heart of Little. I got Mike with A lot of big players stepped up. Derek Van Sokoma for Grand Rapids South Christian and Mike Lewis for Avondale. And Lewis is now joined by Trevor Thompson. Trevor. Hey, Matt, thanks a lot. Mike, you say you can't breathe. You can't breathe. How's it feel? Oh, man, this feels great, man. This is the best time of my life right now. Last night you told us that you would not be denied. It's going to be all hurt for you guys. You were outsized, but you guys got it done. How did you do it? It's hard. We've been preaching it all year. Heart and composure and defense. We've been doing it all year, and it paid off. Does it feel as good as you thought it would? Oh, man, it feels even better. <laughs> even better. Coach, how's this one feel for you? I can't believe this, crap. This is unbelievable. If you would have told me that we would be in this game at the beginning of the year, I would have said, no way. But uh, there was something special about the team throughout the tournament. Our confidence just kept growing and growing, and they're warriors. They reflect my personality. You know, and I love them to death. I'm so happy for them. When you saw that big lead evaporate, what were your thoughts? Well, <laughs> every team makes a run. I thought we could withstand the run, hold our composure, take care of it. We're going to have to hit a few foul shots. I told him that, and we'd be all right. Congratulations, Coach. Enjoy the victory. Matt, we'll go back to you guys. All right, Trevor, thank you. Tim Morton's 96th win of his coaching career, his 25th of the season, is the sweetest. Avondale, a 70 to 65 state championship winner over Grand Rapids South Christian. We wrap it up with a ceremony when we come back. The runners-up trophy and medals being given to Grand Rapids South Christian, a team many people thought would walk away with the championship trophy. Derek Van Solkema, despite a huge game from the field, very disappointed. And a lot of emotion running through that team right now. Eric Oforseth continues to make the presentation and then soon will present the names and the championship trophy to Avondale. And now for the 2002 Michigan High School Athletic Association Class B champions, the Yellow Jackets of Auburn Hills, Avondale. First, we will present individual medals. Number 13, Corey Cole. Number 14, Dave Holston. 25, Steve Ellsworth. 33, Corey Powell. 41, Kerry Cole. 43, Justin Bradford. 45, Brandon Larvidane. 51, Brandon Borton. 55, Greg Riley. Number 11, Wes Whiteside. 21, Jeremiah Hendley. 23, Deontay Miller. 35, Mike Lewis. 53, Kevin McConnell. And X.
accepting that championship trophy, Coach Tim Morton. Congratulations to the Yellow Jackets of Auburn Hills Annandale, the 2002 Class B Boys Basketball Champions. Purple pride shines through. It has been a spectacular day. Avondale claims their first ever state championship in a very impressive fashion. Well, our high school coverage of the basketball state championships has been a pleasure with everybody involved in this broadcast. Our next high school coverage is Sunday, April 14th with highlights from the MHSAA Volleyball Finals. The one-hour special airs at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. For Greg Kelsey, Trevor Thompson, and our entire Fox Sports Net crew, my name is Matt Shepard saying so long from the Breslin Center in East Lansing for the final school in the Class B title game, Avondale 70, Grand Rapids South Christian 65. You've been watching high school basketball on Fox Sports Net. Now, after a brief message, we invite you to stick around and stay tuned for the Detroit Sports Report. It comes your way next.